All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you for pulling security for me up here while I was doing some mining there. I got about 10,000 iron. I'm gonna go drop it into the big forge, make some steel, and we'll go do some questing this morning. All right, and while we're here this morning, we'll grab a quest from Trader Hugh and see if we can also get one from the scout. Good morning, Trader Hugh. What do you got for quest today? Yes, okay, finally, he's giving me the tier twos here. And <laughs> thankfully, they're not on the other side of the river. Let's grab... He's got a couple of ones for the my spot parking. He must really want his stuff fetched out of there, so I will oblige him on that one. All right, off we go to the parking garage. Actually, not a bad place to go because I really need fuel anyway, so we'll break down some cars while we're there. All right, this here is the place. Park it out front. Let's hit it. Okay, clear area and fetch supplies. Supplies are up relative to where we are right now. I can hear a few zombies. There they are. I was gonna say I can hear them lurking around somewhere. Oh geez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I could hear someone beating and I was like, oh, must be a cop or something. No, it's just this uh, hazmat guy breaking down a car for me. Okay, I guess we gotta clear the place out. So we'll head down here for a second and take care of these guys. Few ferals here and there, but nothing. Oh, the gas can recipe. Oh, I forgot that was even a thing, but we still need the chemistry station. Um, the rest of these, what are we gonna do? We're we gonna start scrapping these or what? Wait, farming tips, one level per book. I think I need one more level on that. I was kind of checking this over last night. Basic farming tips, yes, one more, and that'll unlock just a couple of seed recipes and the farm plot block, I think. Okay, so read that and then we'll scrap the rest of them. And we need so many skill notes. We need to make another class laborer book so that we can make the mastery book. And look, that's 480 skill notes just to make this and another now, I believe it's like 120 or something to make the class book, but we'll definitely read the gas can recipe. Scrap, scrap, and mining, scrap. Also found a workbench schematic in a magazine stand outside this morning, scrap that. So today the goal is gonna be to craft all of the steel tools. The, the forge is rolling on hundreds of forged steel right now, but it's gonna be forever. So as soon as we get enough to make the advanced forge, we'll do that first, and then we'll start cranking on steel in that and hopefully we will have enough to make, it's like 20 steel a piece to make the steel tools, so I think we'll get there. Yeah, the other crazy requirement for all the class books and stuff is ink, and I looked at that, and that just requires, there's an assortment of recipes for it, but for the most part, it requires a lot of vegetables to do, and I've been eating most of the vegetables to, you know, stay alive, so it's gonna be quite a challenge to get that stuff put together. And wrenching cars is just not a good way to get fuel, it seems. Oh, here we go, barrels. Yeah, you know, it's, Jason's mis machete seems OP at first until you realize, you know, that I'm just gonna get swarmed by, oh, he's not even dead. Just gonna start getting swarmed by demons and ferals here really quick. Yeah, those regular machetes see, seems like they're doing quite a bit of melee damage there. Uh, but no, that, we'll just sell those. Okay, oh geez, I hear a lot of zombies. I'm pretty sure a horde's running up on us. There's a zombie straight over there. All right, well, we hold the high ground. How are they gonna get up to me? They're gonna come this way, right? Oh, they're outside there, okay. We might be able to kind of pin them at the doorway. Oh, a few of them made their way in, it seems. All right, well, let's do this. Oh, wow, center head flying there. Nice, and I got another skill point to spend. Okay, we're up to four. I do know where I want to spend at least a couple of these. One into plumbing, one into kitchens. That'll allow us to get a sink, which will allow us to get water inside the base, and a, what is it, an electric uh, player stove so that we can start cooking food a little bit more quickly. There's my satchel. I'll also take a point into Knife Master. I've sort of realized, I think I've been taking points into Knife Master thinking that it was for spears, but I, I wasn't paying enough attention. I don't, I think that's just for knives, which is fine because, you know, we, we're in knives now. Ooh, I could just take another one. Gain two hit points on every successful attack is what I just got. And the seventh curse is the seventh strike landed in a short period of time does a lot more damage wow all right area is clear let's loot up and that'll do it i did get a triple mod which is nice and a red tea recipe which is also nice because i have like 80 goldenrod 
I mean, 80 red tea back at home, so we can start cooking that. And with that, I think we're good. Let's go get a quest reward from Hugh. And I think what I'd like to do for a little while is do some of those uh, quests for the scout. But hey, first, a quest reward. Here, Ooh, uh, apple pie. Two wellness out of that. Yeah, I'll take that. How about a lady killer? And a cable, guys. And now for a starving tourists. And at this point, I think we're good. I think we've ascended to the next tier because she has some options here to do other work, opening trade routes. Can you teach me some stuff? I think if I check back tomorrow, she'll have tier twos. All right, back to Hugh. Downtown Shamway, 500 meters to the west. Let's do it. And I'd say it's about two in the afternoon, and that means we'll have plenty of time to knock this out and then head back home. Wait a minute, what's that one two clicks to the west over there, southwest? That is opening trade routes way down there. Nope, we don't want that one. We want the tier two fetch and clear. We also want fuel. How many skill points do I have right now? Zero, right, because I just spent them all into knives. I should not have done that. I should have looked and seen if I could go into science crafting and perhaps get ourselves a chem station. Mistakes were made and were very low on fuel. I'm trying to do a thing where I like pulse the throttle a little bit and just use my forward momentum to kind of traverse. Because I'm thinking like if, I, if I've got my hand on the throttle, probably using a lot of fuel, but if I let go, and just coast, probably not using fuel. Either way, we're burning right through it. Here we are though, Shamway Foods. Is there anything to double dip on here? Leather armor schematic. Let's just crack the door open and sniff around just a little bit here. Now there's not much going on here. I will, <laughs> I'll take down the big mama back there. Oh, nope, she's gonna just blow up now because she's a feral. And don't do that. Okay, okay, yep. I, I've gone too far. <laughs> Let's hit it. We've got more ferals and such back there. Whoop, he's gonna blow up. Get out of here. Whoa, jeez. There's a lot of zombies in here. There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Take a second here. Got a sprained arm and an infection. Well, that works on the infection probably. Did it work? It didn't work. I think it's like 50-50 on that. I do have some antibiotics in the motorcycle though. I picked them up as a quest reward along with... What else did I get for quest rewards today? Meat stew... Uh, I want to save that, because the meat stew, I've learned, it, it really is the gift that keeps on giving. It gives you 20 food, but then it, like, progressively kind of expands in your stomach. You get more and more out of it. Let's just try another honey there. I'll save the herbal. Yep, that one worked. The herbal antibiotics will be good um, some other time. And you know what? In a loot bag today, I pulled out seven splints and proceeded to scrap them all. <laughs> so I guess the, the sprained arm there... We're just gonna have to live with it. Okay, what's the deal here? Yeah, we're going upstairs to fetch a satchel. We're trying not to use the power attack here. If we can avoid it, it'll hurt. Ow, pretty sure there's someone on the other side of that blue roll-up door there. It's all right, we're heading upstairs and see, see what's going on over here. Pretty quiet place up here. Vehicles, no, we don't need that. We can just go ahead and scrap it for the notes. Oh, look at that, some orange juice and a bag of peanuts. Nice, perfect little snack. I wish I could pick up that lantern because I was looking to see what it takes to craft them and it's like five oil or something ridiculous like that. And we just, right now we need the oil to make Molotovs for Horde Night, I think, more than we need. Oh geez, a lot of fast movers there. Yeah, and my sprained arm's up to five hours. So at this point, let's just go ahead with the power attacks. Hopefully I'll pull some splints out of one of these. No, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Those uh, sprains and fractures can get away from you real quick around here. Well, there's my satchel. So that part of the quest is done. All right, I think we're almost done with this place. Who's waiting for me up here, though? Feral researcher. Oh, here we go. Ow. Oh, geez, I'm getting messed up right here. Oh, hi, big mama. Pretty much all ferals these days. I can hear one more, but it's not a POI zombie. We're safe to loot up here. A nice meat stew and orange tea in there. And I just leveled up. One more loot box here. Blueberries. Those are very important for the ink that I was talking about earlier. So I do need some first aid. Give me a second here. Okay, good enough. Let's head back to Hugh. 
All right, here's your damn supplies, buddy. <laughs> hey, the splints we need right there, but nope. We're going to go with the... Well, I suppose the skill note's probably the best thing to get. And I'll grab another job. Probably not going to do it just yet. There's a... Shamway to the east. That's on, that's on our side of Central Park. Okay, I think that'll do it. Let's head home and sort of reorganize. All right, just made it back to the base and look, we are up to 237 forge steel out of the 250 we need for the advanced forge. So I gotta let this run for another, eh, maybe until nightfall and then we can get that done. In the meantime, I have 300 uh, cobblestone cube shapes and I'm gonna head out front and see if I can get the base all patched up. Let's just start off by building the, I guess it'll be the north and the south facing ramps that lead up because uh, we're gonna need these for structural stability purposes anyway. And now I'm gonna do my best to just wrap these around using the ramp locks. Same system that we had up there before, but it just, it was all wooden frames before and it collapsed during the horde night. No surprise there. And yeah, nothing too crazy here. Just need to replace all of the blocks that were broken during the horde night. And hopefully before the next horde night, we will have enough materials to upgrade this mostly to concrete. However, it's pretty clear to me at this point that this is going to just be like <laughs> a weekly chore that we'll have to do. All right, it's definitely nightfall now and I really don't know what I wanna do tonight. That should be the rest of the steel that we need. So first things first, I'll get the advanced forge crafted. That will be 29 minutes and 27 seconds, an interesting unit of time. Okay, in the meantime though, I can probably get working on a stove and a sink. What do I need for that stuff? Sorry, an oven, 100 forged iron. That's probably a little bit beyond my reach there. Okay, so now we can probably just stop the steel in here. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Um, and yes, we'll just work on forged iron instead. But what about the sink? Also a <laughs> hundred forged iron. Oh, damn. Okay, so that's not happening tonight, I guess. Uh, what could happen tonight is I could uh, just continue doing upgrades and repairs around here. I have a little bit of cobblestone. I have quite a bit of wood. Let's just get everything solidified. Let's just check and see here. Can I maybe make some more cobblestone? Oh, I could make a whole bunch of it if I needed it. I think I'll do that. Let's get a couple thousand more of that and get to upgrading. All right, I think it's it's definitely morning now. It's bright, I can see, so it's really the only thing I have to go by. So inside here, I have everything pretty much on the bottom level upgraded to cobblestone. We'll work on the rooftop next, and I've just put these blocks in here to signify where the electric fences will go, and they will be sort of poking through the wall, which is fine. I don't want to do anything to the side here that gives um, demons or spitting zombies a line of sight to me. It's, it's bad enough as it is. And I made up a little ladder to go down to the bottom and I think I will eventually make a ladder that goes up to the rooftop as well. And this wall, I'll put a door in it, but I do want this to be like, like uh, walled off so that if the base does fail, if zombies do get inside, my, I will have to escape and not go inside the base because we don't want to draw them in here to all of our valuable equipment. Speaking of equipment, uh, we still have quite a ways to go on the advanced forge there. And I have the sink queued up after that, as well as the iron to make the oven. So that's going to be kind of an all day thing. I am now hungry. So I believe it's time to take that meat stew. I'll wash it down with a nice orange tea. That'll be 50 water and three wellness. I must have picked that up somewhere today. And I've got the sink, I mean, um, the jars all ready to go for the sink because you could just fill them all up at the same time. Working on some more jars over here. So our water woes and <laughs> hydration woes will be over very soon. All right, there's not much more that I can do here at the base for today. I want to get tools crafted, but I, I need steel to do that. I need the advanced forge. That's the big, that's the thing that's holding us back the most right now. Put that away. And um, I have one skill point. It's just, it's not going to get us where we need to be in terms of the chem station. That's the next big thing we need to craft for sure. Yep, we need science crafting two. So that's two skill points for that. And one that will go straight into the chemistry station perk right here. Okay, so we need two more skill points and we're halfway leveled up. So really we only need one and a half levels right now to get everything that we need. Probably worth looking into what it takes to craft a chemistry station. Five acid, I believe I have that. The iron, the beaker, I do have the beaker. Did I have the acid? Oh no, I have two acid. Can't I make acid though? I can, but it's locked <laughs> and it's crafted in the chemistry station. That's not helpful. 
I suppose we'll swing by the trader then and see if they have any acid. I'll bring the money with me. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Well, we need to sell all that crap. I'm not even gonna spend the time. See, uh, the thing for me with repairing is that it just takes so long. You, get, you know, you're in and out of the chest, you're in and out of the workstation trying to combine things. Let's just sell it and have it over with. But first, let's go do that quest over there for Trader Wrecked. All right, this is the spot right here, Shamway Foods. I guess we're pulling around back and, ooh, there's also a savage country here. And the loot is right behind that door. <laughs> Unfortunately, I broke this on the way here. Uh, this, I should say, my pickaxe. This would be a little bit difficult to get in there. Jeez, it might be difficult to just get in here. Huh. <laughs> I'm jumping over. Here we go, let's hit it. Probably I'll find a repair kit here somewhere. That would be nice. I've been trying to avoid repairing my tools because I know that I'm gonna be crafting a new one here pretty soon. Guess I'll pick up all this clay and flour. Flour is actually cornmeal. I'm sure we could find a use for that. Oh, making grain alcohol, yeah. So that we can make more Molotovs. Okay, here we go, we got a working vending machine here. I did bring the money with me and uh, we're doing the whole thing where we're taking anything that gives us wellness. Cause it's gonna be a while before I can craft anything that gives me wellness. Oh, and this is a broken vending machine. I suppose I could just wrench it. Hello? Good morning, Steven. Okay, unfortunately I had to break this open with the crowbar despite the fact that it's going to damage things that are inside of it. But um, I don't have any lockpicks or I think I do, but I'm just, I don't have them with me. But I don't have very many. I can make them, okay. I need to, I need to like write that down because um, we definitely need to get some lockpicks. Stop breaking stuff. See any birds up here? Uh, I hear somebody here. Oh, hello. Even with the Jason's machete, those uh, football players there are pretty tough. Ah, there's a bird. Looks like I've woken everyone up downstairs, or a few of them. Three, it looks like, on the compass. Here we go. This is unlocked. That's unlocked. And these are all ferals. Oh, ow. Someone came up behind me. Oh, geez. A whole bunch more. Got the tack AR on me today. There we go. I did just pull out a really nice wrench out of that loot bag there. And I got another treasure map too. This is Sarah's treasure, which is perhaps in the East River. <laughs> why is everything, why are all these stupid survivors burying their stuff over in the snow biome? Okay, one last area over here that we haven't explored and I'm pretty encumbered. We'll just have to go easy here. Ooh, a feral white. Stands no chance against Jason's machete though. And there we go, we've got the, the first level up that we need. Ooh, not bad. Area is clear, we can return to Trader now. Just snag up whatever good food I can before we go. And in the main chest here, a couple things to scrap, another triple mod, and that's about it. I can put the triple mod onto the duster, I suppose, and I think that's, that's it. I, there must be some pocket mods then for armor. I'm not sure how that works. Really shouldn't be doing this because I'm encumbered by 34, but I figure it's probably a good use of our time to pick up some seeds out of these produce baskets. All right, encumbered by 51 now. Can I please squeeze through that? Yep. All right, <laughs> let's uh lug all of this stuff over to Hughes. All right, here we are. We're ready for the sell-off. What's up, you Hugh? Hey, oh, hey, quest reward too. Uh, we'll take the honey. Honey, I think, is used for making ink, so that would be important. And a new job, ooh, infested clear to the southwest. I like the sounds of that. It's pretty far away, though. The Mushroom if Mining Company, sure. All right, hey, I see your inventory, and let's make some money. Okay, did the best I could. I saved the wrenches so we can combine that with one that we have, and I, I found a machete right there, so we can use that one to repair Jason's machete. And that'll do it for you. Okay, let's bring all this stuff home, get it organized, see about the forge, and um, I don't know what we'll do from there. <laughs> we gotta level up. We gotta level up so we can get the chem station. We'll find something to do. Okay, there's the advanced forge, the first of many. Okay, I'm gonna get the oven going, so that'll be done by the end of the day today. Drop in the tools here, and that should... Wait a minute, how does this work? Hold on a second, there's, there's a way... Does this need to be plugged in or something? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. I don't have the resources on me. That does make sense. Here we go, okay, everything's working now. No fuel required, it's that advanced. Okay, so... 900 steel then? Definitely. Get it going. Um, excuse me? Why? I'm trying to upgrade my wrench here and it's like, nope. <laughs> if you combine it with a level 8, it's actually gonna degrade it, so... I don't wanna do that. Oh, man. 
Okay, apparently I can't get higher than a level 41. I'm, I'm capped out at that right now, I think. Well, I'll just, um, I'll upgrade this level 29 then. How's that sound? Got a level 31 out of that. Sure. What about the machete? Can I just repair that with this? Oh no, I cannot repair that with the scrap machete. Uh-oh. Wait, do I just repair it with like iron or? Oop. I don't know what happened there. I, oh, I just used this regular iron. Is that the case here? Well, all the iron's in the forge right now. Okay, let's try that again here. Repair. Oh, that takes like 50 seconds. Okay. Okay, one thing I have learned that's possible is that you can unpack ammo. So this 44 Magnum ammo here, which is essentially... It's not useless to me, it's just I don't plan on using it. So what I'm gonna do is unpack it. Got a special button for this. Here we go. And last one. There we go. So that nets us 2600 gunpowder that we can repurpose into an ammo type that we want to use. Jason's machete is fully repaired. Get that modded up a little bit. Okay, I think we are good to go again. Just repair up my pickaxe. It's gonna still be a little while before I can um, get the steel that I need. Well, I guess I... I could get the steel tools pretty soon here. We'll do it all at once later on tonight. Got another treasure map here, Claude's treasure. We couldn't read that before because we'd already read one. And that is also to the, well, it's more to the south than it is to the east. And ooh, there's another trade routes way down there. We got traders all over the place around here. Okay, the thing to do now is that infestation, the starving tourists, and then turn our quest in and hope it's enough to level us up. Because the fuel situation is critical. 9%. I think I have a little bit more up here in a box. Yes, 266. And uh, if I see a car, I'm gonna have to wrench it here. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going back to the bicycle. Okay, there you go. Uh, 18%. Not too bad. That'll do for the rest of the day, I think. All right, here we go. To the infestation. All right, here we go. This is it. The Mushroom Mining Company. Not a bad place to be, I guess. We can get some mushroom spores while we're here. All right, let's hit it. It's an infestation though, so, you know, there's that. It's gonna be a little bit more dangerous. The last time we did an infestation, a rad biker almost killed me. So this time we're gonna go nice and slow and carefully. Might also be a decent amount of resources down here. Oh, what is that? Okay. There's like the elevator right here. Okay, here we go with the mushrooms, nice. Okay, yeah, put the shovel away. <laughs> Get the machete back out. Oh, look at all the mushrooms, they're everywhere. <laughs> I did look into it, and we're not going to be able to harvest any more than just one per crop until we can get the iron hoe, which is a part of the farmer class. Here we go. We have to kick off here. There's a rad right there. Okay, so far so good. Rad big mama? Not too bad. Rad bikers? Life-threatening. Rad stripper? I don't know. I'll take a rad stripper. Okay, looks like we're maybe halfway through at this point. My shovel is almost cooked though, so unfortunately we won't be able to dig up much more. Okay, another rad here. Come on, okay, lots of rads in these infested clears, even though it's just a tier one. <laughs> up to 27 mushrooms. I'm probably just immediately going to turn them into seeds if I can. I think I've read that thing and uh, plant them in the garden. Oh, crap! There's something purple over there. Okay, okay, running, running, running. Running and get a gun. Although, if I'm being honest, probably the machete is better than the gun. That was 30 rounds for two zombies. Here we go, back to the gun. Uh, back to the machete. Oh, crap! It's a tough utility worker. Oh, my God! Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, luckily that was just a stun and not a true concussion. Jeez. Okay, 10 duct tape. That's good. Okay, area's not clear. Uh, we still got another group to fight, and um, we've got some barrels here. Okay, barrels? Barrels could be useful. The shovel just keeps on going. <laughs> okay, okay, what can we do here? We need a few more hit points. Uh, there's not much else I could do. All right, let's take a peek up here and see what we're getting into. Hello? Okay, I'll... A lot of mushrooms, and I got four zombies on my compass. Farmer here, that's one, three to go. Anything good in here? Goldenrod. Uh, okay. We're through the worst of it, I think. This is it, right here. Yes, all clear. Just gonna harvest up these um, mushrooms, get the main loot, and we're done. Okay, main loot's in here. Let's just hope that I don't fall through this. All right, can I get one more whack out of my shovel? Let's just get the main crate here, just, just in case it collapses. We got zombies actually digging down from above. Just mildly concerning, but there's only maybe three by the sound of it. Ah, here's the infested cache. 
Very nice. We'll unpack some of that later and, you know, make it into the ammo that we need. Really, probably 762 would be the best. Scavenging? No. No. I will just learn that myself. Pistol tips and tricks? Also, no. I'll take the notes. Oh, here we go. Did I just see... Oh my goodness. Radiated, mutated zombie. Okay, that means that this thing above me is probably a horde, I would imagine. Goodbye. Okay, how do I get out of here? Yeah, there's a football player that broke his way through something. Oh, is this where they were digging over here? Okay, I don't actually know how to get out of here or where I'm supposed to be right now. I'd love to kill that mutated though, because he'd give me a whole bunch of XP. <laughs> we're pretty close to leveling up here. Okay, here he is. Just be careful. Yeah, there's like three zombies. Whoop, got stuck on some goopy... Oh, jeez, goopy bodies. All right, here we go. Take him out. There we go, nice. Oh, gold nugget and grain alcohol. That must have been from the mutated zombie. All right, enough of this place. I hate being underground. Just too dangerous. Where did they all come from anyway? They weren't a part of the quest. Oh, here's the, there's more rads over here. Okay, this is probably a horde, it looks like. Well, this should be all I need to level up. Yep, there's a, there's a couple dogs over there as well. Let's try to do this nice and carefully. All right, I think that was just about it, and I did level up, so that should be three skill points to spend. We do two into science crafting and one into chemistry station. Let's go home and craft that. Okay, I've made it home, and I realized that uh, we're still short on the acid, right? Because I, I went to the trader to look for acid, and I got sidetracked, I guess. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's make up the new tools. We should be able to do a steel... Wait, are these crafted? Ah, the metal workstation. Makes sense. Right, and there's the oven and the sink. So for now, let's just get these rolling here. It's like, looks like about four minutes of pop here. So shovel, pickaxe, axe, and we'll have those by morning. Okay, for now though, we are in desperate need of three more acid to get the chemistry station. Let's just hit up the traders and see if they're selling it. I'm trying not to run out of gas. I'm at 8%. Oh boy, <laughs> I might have to hit up a couple of these cars along the way. I am curious to see, what does a lead car battery scrap into? Scraps into lead, unfortunately. Okay, well, it is a lead car battery, but uh, I was hoping to get some maybe some battery acid out of it, but that's not how it works. Okay, let's go turn that quest in and see if Hugh is selling any acid. All right, Hugh, what you got for me? Double barrel shotgun, water. Ooh, this is bad stuff, man. I'll take the shotgun so I can sell it back to you later on. And let's see here. Okay, he has one acid, so I'll take that, and then we'll have to go swing by well, that's all you're gonna another buy. trader. Did you have... Ooh, she does have the tier twos today. Oh, she gives out restore powers? Ugh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, dog days are over. Silence of the lambs. Not, you not help me. familiar with these. I'll take the Silence of the Lambs. <gasps> Ooh, skill, kill some screamer zombies. Okay, well, I guess so. The more pressing things are at hand, though. We might... Oh, Jesus. So if we get one from Trader Wrecked, maybe we'd have to do a, a, a short trip uh, to another trader, man. They're really far away. I don't know about that. I, I guess we could do it overnight. There's not much else to do. We pr probably kind of have to take the bicycle to do it, though. Well, Wrecked, you're my last hope. All right, here we are. I did do the Starving Tourist quest for the scout here. Oh, crap. I can't really see the scout right now. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we'll just deal with Wrecked then. Acid, no acid. Crap, man. Okay, geez. Um, hmm. In that case, we're screwed. Okay, the only other thing I can think about to do is to, like, go to a passing gas and, you know, see if we can maybe pull some fuel out and... Maybe, I don't know. Maybe see if we can get an acid or two. We need two. I don't really know how else to get it. And it's nightfall, which makes everything even more dangerous. All right, I'm back home and I'm gonna eat some food here. Did I have, a, I have a mega crush. Okay, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna just stash stuff. I'm gonna get on the bicycle. I'm gonna see if I can find myself a passing gas. 
and we'll do just a quick raid there to see if we can get the last two acid that we need. Let's do it. Okay, I know that there is a passing gas around here somewhere. I just need to find it on the map. Has a pretty distinct, like, L shape to it. I found it. That's, I believe, the one right there. Well, that's a tier four, though, so let's maybe see if I can uh, get a lockpick or two. Okay, here it is right here. The king of the passing gases. Ah! Crap, you scared me. And every one of those pumps are broken and out of order. Duct tape in the car. Okay, I guess we're heading in here. Uh, there's a few passing gas boxes that I know of. Hopefully that's the best place to be searching. In the first one, we get a wrench and some gas. I think while I'm here, I will wrench down all the wheels and see if I can collect a couple more. We got plenty more vehicles that we need to craft. <laughs> oh no, my shovel finally gave up. Okay, I'm taking a pretty significant beating here already. This is probably a really bad idea to be doing this. Okay. Oh, jeez, man. Fast and furious here. All right, I think it's just about that time. Let's do the mega crush for the second half here. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, okay, tanning rack and calipers there. That reminds me, I gotta look into getting a writing table here pretty soon. All right, where are you guys? Ooh, nice. Feeling good with that agility, that increased movement speed. Treasure map and that loot bag there. Oh, wow, I just found a good pair of steel knuckles. Is that blunt or bladed? Not sure. All right, let's just head straight out here. No one can catch me at this point, so I'm feeling pretty frisky here. Oh, straight up rad right there. Oh, <laughs> one shot kill on him too, as well as the biker. The stripper did better than them. Okay, we do have the hidden stash back here that we can check. This could have acid in it. Holy crap, that has a lot of stuff in it. Wow. Okay, give me all of it. All right, the sun is beginning to rise. It must be early, early in the morning. Let's just crack this loot open and get this over with here. And it's done. Okay, there were barely any passing gas boxes in the whole passing gas here. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, we gotta do some lock picking here. Oh, that was easy. I'm in. First try. Any acid in here? Oh, there's four acid in there! Yes! Wow, look how much stuff is in there! This is crazy! Oh my god, more lock picks! Workbench schematic, bladed weapon notes, just scrapping those, scrap the athletics notes, impact bracing mods, throw those into my boots a little later, money! Oh my god! Okay, well, I'm gonna head back to the base tonight. It's gonna take me a while to get there, moving at this rate. And I'm gonna get the chem station crafting. It's probably gonna take ages to, for it to finish up. I'll do a little bit of organization and get a plan going for tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching my back out there today, and I will see you first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.